a movie that makes you pick between technology and family, you'd have to have no soul as a side with technology. The Mitchells vs. The Machines, directed by Mike Ryander, who uh, also voices the uh, father of uh, the uh, Mitchell family in this movie. It was initially titled Connected, but uh, they uh, changed the title to The Mitchells vs. The Machines, uh, which uh, uh, works uh, way better as a title, and uh, is the 2021 uh, Sony Pictures uh, anime is a co comedy uh, drama adventure so uh, the Mitchells versus the machines uh, tells the story of uh, K Casey a uh, uh, aspiring a uh, young uh, filmmaker and a soon-to-be uh, college uh, student uh, and uh, she has uh, spent all her life making short movies on, on her laptop and and she's a technology uh, she's a pro at technology and she has a close enough relationship with her mother and her brother and uh, uh, her dog but uh, sadly her and her father have become more and more distant uh, uh, as she has uh, got, gotten older and uh, the father he doesn't want to lose his uh, close relationship with his daughter uh, uh, fearing she may never return if she goes off to college so he cancels her flight to college and uh, and uh, uh, drives her there in a, in a family road trip and, and uh, at the same time uh, this uh, I, evil iPhone known as Paola, she uh, uh, begins the uh, technology uh, uprising and the, literally the robot revolution so uh, it's up to the Mitchells that to not only get uh, to college uh, and not only to uh, save humanity uh, from uh, what uh, uh, they created but to uh, uh, re rekindle their bond as a family. Uh, now uh, I, I only saw the trailer for uh, this movie back when it was titled Connected Once in 2020 and I thought uh, mm, I don't know how this is going to turn out if it's made by Sony Pictures Animation despite uh, us uh, so despite them uh, showing signs of major improvement uh, with Into the Spider-Verse in 2018, uh, three years ago, uh, if it, it was a movie that was uh, technology-based uh, and related, and after seeing what they did with the Emoji movie, uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was so worried that, that they... Uh, Going to go down uh, the uh, route to uh, f failure again. Uh, I I didn't I didn't see how they could make a movie, you know, about about technology uh, work. Uh, uh, but uh, I I saw uh, all of the uh, uh, positive uh, buzz that this movie was getting on social media. I I turned on Netflix and I checked it out for myself and uh, and. Uh, Boy, uh, am I uh, glad I did because the Mitchells versus the Machines is now not only my favourite animated movie of 2021, not only uh, my favourite Sony Pictures animation movie, Sorry Into the Spider Verse, but you've now been tops, but it's uh, li literally my favourite movie of 2021 thus far, and that is no joke. Uh, those words are one million percent serious. This movie is a uh, uh, a hundred times better than it ever had any right to be. I mean, how how they made this concept into uh, a a true animated classic uh, just uh, just shows uh, that uh, that Sony are uh, finally cleaning up their act after the Emoji Movie. They have uh, they have. Uh, learn from their mistakes and they are and I think they I don't think they'll ever make a movie uh, that's uh, irredeemable again but thanks to the creative influences of the team behind the Lego movie Phil Lord and Christopher Miller Sony have just been uh, Sony have gradually been rising to the top as a studio and are 
and with this movie and into the spider that they are now at a Disney, uh, Pixar and DreamWorks level of, of great. Uh, and yeah, and what uh, made uh, me uh, connect uh, with the Mitchells uh, versus the Machines ever so deeply is its uh, relevant themes of uh, te technology uh, uh, and uh, its uh, uh, heartfelt uh, themes of uh, family. Uh, uh, like, uh, I, I, I think uh, the director, uh, who also voices the father, I, I guess uh, that uh, he maybe has a daughter in, in his personal life, and he, and maybe his bond with his daughter inspired him to make this movie, because because of uh, the family, all of uh, them uh, are uh, lovable, especially Casey, voiced by Abby Jacobson, who voices a, a Bean in Disenchantment, uh, which is now my favourite Matt Groening show, by the way. Uh, I will review that show uh, at some point, but so, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm overjoyed that uh, Abby Jacobson is getting more work in, in animated movies now, because of... Uh, because she is a, such a pro at voicing animated heroines, and uh, and Casey, she is, uh, you know, she is literally, uh, uh, how uh, exactly how I was like uh, growing up, you know, practicing making short movies of my own uh, to uh, to to be uh, a aspiring future filmmaker, and and how she makes movies with her puppets and shows them to her family on her laptop is is highly creative and and her little brother i mean i i kind of uh i was kind of like uh, him too uh, in in my uh youngest years as he's dinosaur obsessed and 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 so am i to <laughs> to this day and uh and the mum she she uh just uh wants to you know she's like the glue that holds this family together she just wants uh the family to you know uh, get along uh, uh swimmingly uh, like that's like me i i never want my family to fall out or argue and and uh, and the father he uh, has been uh, so he's so passionate about uh, camping that so he sadly uh neglects and uh, ignores his daughter's lo love of filmmaking and that's and that's cost him uh his relationship with his daughter and in, and and the, the yeah the scene where he accidentally br breaks her laptop I mean and then then afterwards he watches older uh, clips of it him and uh, and Casey uh, when when uh, Casey was only young and and went back when she and him were so close and they and they sung their own version of my yuppie I will ne never listen to that song the same way again now w without shedding a tear or two and uh, and he he and he realizes he needs uh, he needs to uh, be there for her as a father as his daughter is not going to be staying with them forever and uh, so so that will uh, so that will help me you know always uh, treasure the moments if with, with my daughter if I should have a daughter such someday <laughs> and uh, the, the dog it, uh, may be my uh, number one favourite character in this movie I mean he should be Sony Pictures Animation's uh, new personal mascot uh, yeah it's bizarre how he's a cross-eyed but Sony have never made a character this cute uh, he's as uh, cute as a PewDiePie's uh, Hug in his uh, J Jabba the Hutt uh, YouTube video, and uh, and this movie has uh, the uh, a, such a similar animation style to Into the Spider Verse, uh, which uh, which uh, shows that uh, Sony are taking f full advantage of uh, of this uh, uh, you know a uh, uh, c comic book looking animation style and they are well aware with this movie that the sky is uh, the limit to uh, what uh, you can do with with animation so the animation here is uh, incredibly slick and uh, and hyperactive and uh, rocket fueled uh, it's uh, it's as it's as rapidly paced as uh, the pacing in a lego movie and and that helps uh, all of the uh, 
the gags uh, just land and uh, and make you chuckle uh, fl flawlessly. Yeah, this uh, is uh, by far the funniest uh, Sony movie, especially when the movie would uh, put up, uh, you know, uh, text or subtitles in the style of a comic book whenever Abby was narrating a specific moment. It's like uh, she uh, made one long uh, uh, movie about her life and is and is uh, and is putting that up on YouTube uh, and and uh, uh, and the, and the uh, villain Powell, as she has been uh, uh, criticised as being the weakest uh, character in the movie. Even Scrofilius uh, Productions uh, uh, called her one of his problems with the movie in his review. But uh, but I I say she is a well a a more threatening antagonist than uh, than people uh, would give her credit for. As she's voiced by Olivia Coleman, who has the perfect uh, voice uh, for narration uh, and, uh, and 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 Paul uh, is just uh, sees n no reason for humanity to <laughs> to be saved as she and she sees no reason for humanity to rule over you know her kind of m machines so uh, so so that so goes to show if we we as humans need to be extremely cautious when as we upgrade technology, I mean, because, because uh, it's because they it could bite uh, the hand uh, that feeds it. It uh, could get uh, uh, you know, uh, it, it could make her uh, plans uh, to uh, you know overthrow us uh, as a species. And even though the video game Detroit Become Human made androids uh, the the victims and humans are uh, the villains, uh, this yeah, but this movie makes a. Uh, uh, the humans, the victims, and uh, and technology, the the bad guys. Uh, so, but in the context of the story of this movie, uh, that uh, that works as uh, it's as the as technology plays a uh, uh, important part in the family drama here. As as you know, uh, all as the you know, uh, Casey and the mum and uh, the sons are spending uh, you know all this time on their phone and the father is the only one who isn't social media uh, obsessed uh, and uh, yeah it, it's a it's a such a relevant message to each and every one of us today as social media uh, isn't so uh, going anywhere and it will it, it will certainly exist for uh, the rest of my lifetime and and my children and my children's children lifetime and it will only continue to to upgrade uh, so so we all got to it's all down to us uh, how how much time we spend on it so but we've got to be careful not to let uh, technology you know uh overtake uh, take up too much of our lives and we we've still got to you know put our family and our personal lives uh, first so yeah yeah sometimes I don't have motivation to post anything on my social media and in fact a half of the stuff that goes on in my personal life I don't share on personal social media and I I think uh, that's a uh, I, th I think I think uh, and I think everybody's going through that the exact same thing right right now so this uh so this is uh, to me a uh, the most uh, relatable movie I ever seen uh, uh, all, all year, and what's even more surprising about this uh, film is that I did not expect it to have uh, this uh, good action. The action is all rocket fueled pace, especially the the one in the mall where <laughs> they come across uh, uh, this uh, the all, this army uh, of uh, little gremlin. Uh, Fluffy things that you know that, that they uh, sell in stores. I I never remember their name, uh, but so now that has given me a phobia of those things for, for life. And uh, and the and the final battle is a uh, is is a uh, is surprisingly long, uh, but so uh, but that's so uh, cool. A I, I I love a a climax and a final showdown to be uh, uh, not nice and long and uh, and the. Uh, and uh, 
oh, and also there are these two uh, robots uh, that uh, initially served Powell, but uh, the Mitchells managed to turn good and they became part of the family to, uh, to, to show that uh, technology, you know, can can turn out so good if uh, if brought up and treated right so uh, and uh, uh, the the Mitchells they are now uh, in in my top 10 animated families are up there with uh, the Simpsons uh, family guy and, and the Incredibles they they may not be superheroes or have any uh, powers but uh, but they use uh, you know their you know that their, their families are uh, uh, love for one another and uh, their own uh, t talents uh, which what makes them different from from uh, everybody else uh, to uh, to win the day and and they they don't they don't they couldn't care less what others think of them they embrace that that they're different and especially the mama when she sees her family in danger she uh, kicks her absolute ass in, in the final battle and uh, needless to say all the Mitchells needed to do uh, to uh, defeat the machines was pack uh, uh, a gazillion glasses of water and uh, chuck it over the machines and uh, and uh, uh, humanity is saved as uh, simples and, and not to mention I haven't bawled like a baby uh, this much at the ending of an animated movie since Elsa and Arna's uh, hug at the end of uh, Frozen 2. Uh, but uh, uh, overall, uh, uh, do yourselves a favour, guys, and watch The Mitchells vs. Uh, the Machines. Uh, it uh, is the first true masterpiece of uh, 2021. I mean... I mean, the way this movie was marketed, it had no right to be this great, uh, but uh, thank goodness uh, it was, and uh, it uh, it's, uh, proves that uh, Sony uh, can make actual good movies uh, based on technology. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is really is the Lego movie of 2021 and could be the first time that a Sony Pictures animation movie could be nominated for Best Picture at my Harry Awards. I give the Mitchells vs. the Machines five stars out of five best movie ever. First movie of 2021 as to have the honour of receiving five stars out of five. Um, awesome job Sony well I love you guys thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this review and what are your thoughts on the Mitchells versus the machines so please comment and let me know please like this video and subscribe and please follow me on Twitter and on Instagram and I'll see you next time and remember movies are us bye guys